So this is my uh, video response to Comms Prepper uh, 2000 subscriber contest. Uh, I actually don't want to be included for the prize. I think uh, there's some more uh, eligible people out there. I just wanted to share some of my uh, my items which have been learned from people who share videos on YouTube for the most part. So. Um, just take a spin through everything and uh, maybe someone will get some ideas. This is uh, one of the bags out of my uh, my my radio equipment bag. I have a duffel bag. But we'll go through the, the transceive stuff I have first and you'll get an idea of what I've got. So basically, pretty straightforward. Everybody's seen these. FRS, GMRS radios and supporting gear in a dollar store shaving bag. These are great, um, as uh, Gorilla Geek pointed out, uh, without licensing, these are great for playing on in the interim and training on and some other cool stuff you can do, uh, a little in the semi-legal variety where you could uh, do some slow scan TV, Google it, there's some YouTube videos, some other neat stuff, actually, uh, I'll put that right out there, that is not legal to do digital on these, I think it's limited to a second or two of digital transmission, but... Yeah, you can make your own decisions. Um, yep, those work good. They stay in there along with some other good stuff. Uh, for transceive as well, got the President HR2510. This is a 10 meter ham radio. Uh, looks like a CB because it is also that. Does great on uh, CB and, uh, well, you can get into the free band as well. Uh, Google it if you don't know what that is. But uh, very capable 10 meter receiver, transceiver. Uh, I have a 10 meter dipole in the attic uh, that I can use this as a base station and really reach out there and get things. Um, no problem. Right now I don't transmit. Again, uh, as you see in my other videos, I'm not licensed. So, um, like Gorilla Geek's idea, stick to the FRS units in the meantime. Um, moving on in the transceivers. Uh, pretty straightforward. Everybody's seen these before. Baofeng UV3R and the UV5R. If I don't knock everything flying. Uh, extremely capable radios. These things are great for uh, huh, too many things to list. Look them up if you don't already have some. Uh, between the two, I carry this UV3R almost everywhere. Little tiny antenna. Works great. It's pocket size. I can carry this in my jeans pocket. Uh, I carry it on me all the time. It's pretty common. Um, this, <laughs> I'll share this, maybe a neat idea. This is a uh, toilet plunger handle from the dollar store. But within it, I have my Nagoya antennas for the UV3R and the UV5R. These are about a $7 antenna. Uh, great for the 2 meter, 70 centimeter band. Uh, very capable antenna. Stick those on top of the UV3R and the UV5R and uh, you can get some good receive, good transmit. Work great. Two thumbs up. So uh, moving away from the transceive and uh, to receive only, I have my unit in. Uh, marketed as a NASCAR scanner. It's the BC72XLT. Uh, this is a great little handheld scanner. I've had it for a lot of years. Works great. Uh, the close call feature is truly what it's it's really handy for. Put it on close call, uh, depending on the band you have selected, uh, any close frequency will trigger and alert you that there's transmissions on it, which is pretty cool when you're mobile. But I have an even better solution now that uh, has made this almost obsolete unless I need to carry it in my pocket. As well, uh, everything that this finds, uh, all my locals are programmed into the UV3R and the UV5R. So other than scanning to find new frequencies, basically obsoleted this guy. Uh, all the monitor is programmed into those with the transmit functionality locked out. Uh, moving quickly into more receive only. Texan PL600 shortwave radio. Single sideband works great. Uh, amateur frequencies, weather sat, uh, or not weather sat, HF fax, uh, works like a champ. This thing is an extremely capable radio, especially if you couple it with a long wire antenna. 
This is a cheap version you can get on Amazon. Uh, there's other reviews by Hams on this. It's a Sanjian um, portable shortwave reel antenna. So you just reel it out. This end clips on to any standard metal antenna. Also, it does have the plug-in, which in this case plugs right into the PL600. Works, uh, works great. Uh, also, instead of just that, I have several of these. These are the KD shortwave radios. Uh, buy them on eBay for, I think, about $3 out of uh, Hong Kong or China. I carry these in uh, several backpacks. There's one in my vehicle. I gave one to the girlfriend. Lots. I have. I forget how many I have kicking around. These things are great little radios. We're great for all of the, everything except the amateur area and uh, the data areas. That's about uh, about the only limitations. Other than that, it just works like a champ. Uh, battery life is basically forever, and the volume is incredibly powerful. Moving on with receive only, uh, several videos on my channel devoted to these. I can't say enough about them. This is what filled the gap. Uh, FYI, I had a tornado go through uh, two years ago, right by my house here. Uh, wiped out everything, and what I missed most was um, weather, everything, just knowing what's going on around me. So you'll notice that my comms plan is a lot of receive only. Um, and <laughs> this is a software defined radio. These dongles are sub $20 and in this case the one in my hand is the E4000 chipset which is uh, good for 52 to 2.2 gigahertz. So 52 meg to 2.2 gigahertz I can receive with this with virtually no gaps. The one that's plugged into the laptop here is the Nolec unit. This is the uh, R820T chipset, same price, you're looking at under 20 bucks. And this one is good from 24 megahertz to 1.7 gigahertz. So basically, you've got full band, uh, everything with the exception of shortwave receive. Um, and quickly, I'll touch on that. I'm going to do an unboxing video on my channel on this, but uh, here's a sneak peek. This is the Hammett Up Up Converter. So this is a 100 megahertz up converter. This, coupled with one of these, takes you into the HF band. So you're looking at all sort of shortwave, no problem, receive. Um, all the data to go with it, all the data modes, everything, uh, HF facts, etc. that I do manually through the PL600, I can now do with this and this. Under $20, these are $50 from Nolec. The reviews are just super stellar on these. So basically, uh, I have all sorts of videos on my channel that I've been doing lately, uh, trying to push this thing to the limit. I haven't found its limit yet. But uh, quick uh, description, this is SDR Sharp running. This is the software defined radio program. It's tuned right now to my local police re repeater which is uh, actually not that far from my house. Uh, I've done uh, aircraft location, beacon receiving, uh, satellite imagery for weather, uh, pager traffic decoding, uh, P25 digital voice recording, all kinds of, there's just no limits to this thing. It's quite amazing what you can do for 20 bucks. Uh, all kinds of intel can be gathered. Um, what they come with is this goofy little antenna because these things are designed for receiving uh, TV in Europe. So you take that off uh, and you quite simply do an antenna set up for whatever you're attempting to receive. Um, this is one style. These are, I can't remember what style connector this is right off the top of my head, but basically uh, I'm moving everything to the SMA style connector and uh, obviously a BNC uh, as well, and then I can hook the rubber ducts on or the long antennas from the UV3R and UV5R or any field expedient antenna. Um, ADSB for aircraft, etc., needs a special antenna. Same with satellite imagery. Um, you can build them for next to nothing, and that's my upcoming projects is to play with that a little bit. But, uh, yep, yeah, that in a nutshell. 
Um, I won't go over all the other stuff that you can do with these, but for gathering all kinds of information, even if you just want weather reports, etc., uh, high-definition weather imagery, HF facts, because I can do HF now, uh, all kinds of stuff available. And then uh, what I have here is a very small HP printer. Uh, kind of been saving this one because it works like a champ. It's no bigger than the laptop and if you were needing to print off satellite imagery just basic anything you want. If you wanted to record uh, encrypted uh, text and then print it off you could but I don't think that would be extremely legal but uh, all kinds of neat stuff you could do with it between the laptop and that uh, Basically, I'm a standalone station, and uh, I can get the information I want, share what I want. Uh, if I need to broadcast, I move back to some of the other systems, but uh, for the most part, uh, looking to receive only. So, yep, that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching.